I'm Matt Lacey from SurveyTech, and this is my little robot, Zoom90. Don't worry, he's a friendly robot. The kind that helps you with all your surveying tasks, rather than the kind that enslaves all humanity. Isn't that right, Zoom90? I'll take that as a nod. The Zoom90 is built with Stream360, or Scout, Track and Aim, which basically means, like Liam Neeson in Taken, it has a very specific set of skills, and it won't stop until it will find you. This means it can track you even if you're going at 90 kilometers per hour, 100 meters away. Max, run at 90 kilometers per hour. And it tracks him, no problem. That's good, mate, keep running. Little lad won't stop. Go on, yeah, 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 it's got you. It's good exercise for him, really. Crystal clear optics and 1,000 meter reflectorless measurement. That's top lasering. And it's IP55, because let's face it, it might rain. But one of the best things about Zoom 90 is that it's controlled by this really easy to use X-pad software, as you can see on this handsome tablet. It's really easy to navigate. The first thing you do is you open your job. Now you can either start a new job using that button, or you go to one that you've already done. Here's one we did earlier with that cool picture of us. So you can add pictures to your jobs, or you can go through the lists, or there's the location view, which brings up the map, and then there's calendar view, so you can see when you did the job, like today. So you're in the job, how do you start? Well, you obviously want to survey a point. We've already got some points in there, so you can survey more. And here we are in the CAD screen. Now, how do you add a new point? You simply click measure. It's all very easily. Click store. Yes. It names it, you can put code, description. You can even do a sketch. So you can draw an arrow for a tree. I'm not very good at sketching. There are lots of things, you can even take pictures. So it just helps you to make sure that you're keeping your data in an organized fashion in the way that you want it. Now if you want to speed up the process, you just click measure and store, and it does the whole thing in one. Obviously it's in the same point as we just measured. Okay, so after you've surveyed all your points, you might want to stake them out. Well, you're just going to stake out. Again, really easy. You can find your point from CAD or from list, and all you do is you tap the point, and then it will guide you to where you need to go. So I can see my point on CAD, I can see which direction it's in, I can see how far away it is, and then all I need to do is let the Zoom 90 guide me to it. And you can hear the sound commands, which you can turn on or off, depending on whether you find them annoying. But you can look at the screen too. And then you hear the bing. One of the great things about XPad is it's scalable. If you need to do some auto measuring, you buy the auto measuring module. If you're doing a lot of surfaces and volumes, then you can get that module. The same goes with roads. So all of these are just there to make your life easier. And let's say sometime in the future you decide to get a GPS unit, like this, the Zenith 35. It just slots right on top of the prison pole, so you can pretend to be Gandalf. You shall not pass! And with x -Pole, you can switch between TPS and GPS depending on what suits you. The Zoom 90 will never lose your location because it's taking it from this GPS unit. Even if Donald Trump were to build a 90-foot wall in between you, it would still know where you are. I think we'll probably do a video in the future just about GPS, but in the meantime, if you have any questions, post them below or get in touch through the website. Thanks for watching.